Recently, there's been a lot of talk around the Half-Life series, speculation about a possible new game, and about what that game's story might entail. So I figured now would be a good time to clear up a particular mystery that people have been wondering about for the last 20 years. So early on in the chapter Anti-Citizen 1, you can find probably the strangest G-Man sighting in the game, a television showing him standing in a broken fishing boat with a crow on his shoulder. If the imagery here wasn't strange enough, the sound accompanying it is stranger. This short piece of music has no official title, it's not on the soundtrack, and it's only known by the file name, Radio1.mp3. Many have commented on how unsettling this piece is, how it evokes a darker, more unsettling atmosphere than anything else in the retail game. Some find it hauntingly beautiful. Others find it fills them with a deep sense of dread. But what really captivates people is what you'll hear when you listen closely. If you do some research on Radio 1, you'll quickly learn that it's primarily made up of two samples from the Zero-G sample pack, Cuckoo Land Volume 2, Ghost in the Machine. The first sample is called Distorted Trumpets, which some people mistakenly give as the title of the full piece. The second sample is Is That the Door, pitched up by five semitones. But there's more than just that. If you listen closely, at the beginning, you can faintly hear someone speaking. Between the heavy radio filtering and distorted trumpets drowning it out, it's almost impossible to work out. Some people have tried, though. There's no consensus as to what's being said, but a few of the common interpretations are Gordon, do you read? Come in, G-Man, and everyone's dead. I'll play you the section with the voice. See if you can hear any of those lines, or maybe something else entirely. Some believe that the voice is being played in reverse, so now I'll play you the same section, but backwards. So, could you make anything out? As you might imagine, this little piece of audio, buried in the mix of some strange environmental music, has led to some speculation. Who's speaking, and to whom? What's the message? What does any of this have to do with the G-Man? As fun as these theories are, the truth is rather underwhelming. So, do you really want to know what the voice is saying? Okay. The voice is just gibberish. Remember Ghost in the Machine? Well, Radio 1 uses a third sample from that pack called Ooya Yulia. Here it is in isolation. <laughs> So, what happened is that Half-Life 2's composer, Kelly Bailey, made Radio 1 by combining these three samples and putting it through a filter. That's it. It's a beautiful, unsettling arrangement, but there's really no deeper meaning behind the weird vocal sounds. Still, it's nice to be able to put this mystery to bed once and for all. We still don't know anything more about the G-Man or the Combine or anything else. All we do know is one place where we don't have to keep looking for answers. And, now that we know everything that made up the original, we can recreate it in stereo, without the filtering. So, enjoy the full quality version of Radio 1. <laughs> 